Right now, scientists around the world are trying to figure out how to build living tissues and even grow entire organs in a lab. Once we can do that, the benefits would be limitless. We could effectively test drugs before giving anything harmful to humans, saving billions of dollars. We could even replace failing organs with biofabricated ones, pushing life expectancy far beyond what it is now. Here's the problem. The human body is a 3D structure, but we've been trying to study and replicate these living tissues on a 2D surface, basically on a slide under a microscope. It's pretty old technology. If we're going to design and build accurate living tissues, we need 3D tools, such as 3D printers that print out tissues. Some early innovators have begun 3D printing tissues, such as cartilage, heart, <laughs> and even brains in the lab. It's awesome. So we're good to go, right? Not quite. 3D printing tissues is still difficult, and it needs a supportive ecosystem. So we not only need 3D bioprinters. But 3D imaging and 3D culturing platforms. We want to be able to analyze what we design, and we want to help the cells that we pattern grow into mature tissues. Most importantly, though, we need to make sure that all of these tools are easy, accessible, and fast, because it's the only way we'll get wide adoption. Here's the good news: all of these 3D tools to create tissues are being developed now. And that means that the way that we develop drugs and treat patients is about to change forever. Very soon, we'll be able to empower others to discover, heal, and build with life. Thank you.